Hey guys, I'm Dob, and today I'm back with more Total War Warhammer 2 online action. Malekith welcomes you here to the Chaos Waste, where we've got a matchup between the Dark Elves and the forces of Chaos. So definitely in for a very, very bloody battle. For my build, of course, I've got Malekith the Witch King. We'll take a look at his abilities, just bringing Power of Darkness and Soul Stealer for a nice cheap kit. A Seraphon is very expensive and uh, very powerful, so really try to cut down on the spells just to keep them nice and cheap. Spiteful Conjuration as well as the Noxious Breath. And of course, he's got his regular abilities, Gaze of Malice, and Stand Your Ground. For the front line, we've got Black Art Corsairs in the center, one Dread Spear on each flank, backed up by two units of Witch Elves to be able to lock down opposing high value targets. Uh, Shagoths in particular. They're, they can be paired with these guys here, this unit of Black Guard of Nagarond, to lock down a Shagoth, uh, you know, other potential high value targets, lock them in place, and then use the Black Guard to just whittle them down. Uh, we've also got two units of Cold One Knights, one on each flank, and the idea here is the same. If I need to, I can dispatch, dispatch the Witch Elves out to these, these engagements here and, you know, help lock down on top of these Cold One Knights who do have anti-large armor-piercing damage, very strong units, and uh, very good looking as well. These, uh, <laughs> uh, the Cold Ones are, are such a cool looking unit, such a cool concept as well. Man, these guys are awesome. That's pretty much it for my build. For the Chaos player, he's got a very strong build in my opinion. He's got, uh, his forces will be led by Sarthrail the Ever Watcher. He's going to be carrying, let's look at his spells, just Transmutation of Lead. Very interesting. I'd probably like to see Plague of Rust here as well, as the Armor Sundering can be very, very good, especially when paired with, like, Forsaken, for example. They'll tear through a high-value unit, um, you know, if you cast that Overcast Plague of Rust, bring their armor down by 60, they'll be able to tear through them much more efficiently. But, uh, you know, Transmutation of Lead is a very strong debuff, and it is quite expensive. Big Bird himself is very strong here. He's unbreakable. He also has very heavy missile resistance. So if I can take a look here. 60% uh, missile resistance. It has been nerfed since Game 1. Um, in Mortal Empires, it could, did go down from 70 to 60. He does have 25% magic resistance still, so... Uh, very strong against Dark Shards, very resistant to their missile fire. In addition, uh, if you, He's a very good pick against the Skaven as well, uh, you know, Wood Elves, anyone who you expect is going to bring missiles or magic missiles, uh, armor-piercing missiles, uh, just a very strong choice in general, very mobile, of course causes fear and terror, and he is unbreakable, so very, very strong. Uh, he's also got two Dragon Ogre Shagos, again, very good picks, anti-large, armor-piercing, huge charge bonus, excellent combat stats, 70 armor, uh, fear and terror, I mean, what's not to love about Shagoths, right? Uh, front line here is Chaos Warriors with great weapons mixed with one sword and board Chaos Warrior here in the center. Probably just didn't quite have enough funds. We've got Aspiring Champions for morale support. Also got two units of Forsaken for some flanking action as well as two units of Chaos Poison Warhounds. So very good stuff. The main problem I'm going to face here is the Shagoths. So the idea is if we can lock them down here with these Witch Elves and use, you know, either the Black Guard or the Cold One Knights or Malekith or any combination thereof, you know, these uh, Dark Shards will be very good. They won't be good against Big Bird, but they'll be very good against the Shagoths. And, of course, all the great weapon infantry that the Chaos Warriors have brought here will suffer pretty badly to the Dark Shards. I just have to pick my car targets carefully, and uh, my opponent... As long as he doesn't engage piecemeal, I, I'm going to have a tough time dealing with everything all at once. So, we did get a nice breath attack here, got some decent warriors done on those Forsaken and the Chaos Warriors up on the hill. My opponent's going to be coming down towards me because I, I didn't really feel like rushing the hill uh, because I have a ranged advantage and I wanted to try and get some charges of Malkit's Breath and uh, other spells off before, um, you know, before the fighting started just to try and swing things a little bit more in my favor here. But... Uh, we are just going to get them advancing. Going to come around here for another Dragon Breath, I believe, if I remember correctly. Um, but yeah, it's a very interesting matchup. Big Bird's really good here. The issue he's going to struggle with is Malekith is a super strong melee combatant. Big Bird himself is no slouch. He does have 60 melee attack, which is really good. He's also got uh, pretty decent weapon strength. It's not hugely armor-piercing. He does have magic attacks, but uh, with Plague of Rust in a duelist situation, he can be very, very good against Lords. Surprisingly good, actually. 
but uh, he is very squishy in melee. He's very obviously resistant to missiles, but if you can get on him with a powerful unit like Malekith or the Blackguard, definitely can take him down. This Shagoth is pulled up here, going to be taking some missile fire, and we're going to immediately charge in with these Cold One Knights. They'll do some nice damage to the Forsaken, and then inundate uh, the Shagoth. But the Shagoth wisely pulling away there, taking some nasty missile fire, though. The Witch Elves, unfortunately, I'd sent on an, on an attack order to the Shagoth, but it does look like they've uh, gotten in on these Forsaken, going to be locking them down. Meanwhile, Big Bird running straight up the pipe here, right up the middle. Uh, the engagement here... Uh, Chaos Warriors will definitely beat Black Art Corsairs, but uh, I do have this unit of Dark Shards teeing off on the flank here, and I'm going to be bringing around the rest of my forces. Got a couple more units of uh, Black Art Corsairs getting a really nice flank charge here. These Forsaken are going to be a rough matchup for them as well, and a Big Bird doing some nice splash attack damage. We've got Breaths going off on this other side here, and uh, Malekith, I'm just really having a tough time deciding where to land with him. I'm basically just waiting for my opponent to get isolated with Big Bird or with one of these other targets. He's got his Shagoths in pretty good positions right now. However, this one here is going to be able to get locked down by these Witch Elves. Granted, Witch Elves are not immune to psychology baseline. They do have Frenzy, which means they're immune to psychology as long as that Frenzy is active. But if that Frenzy drops, they're going to get terror routed by the Dragon Ogre Shagoth, and it's going to be a tough time. But at, at least for the moment, I'm going to be able to lock him down with the Enrage and use these Dark Shards here to do some nice damage. But uh, you can see the Black Art Corsair is already having taken a lot of damage and being routed off in many cases. However, we've still got plenty of tools left. Um, unfortunately, I did have a, a firing order on Sartharil here, which is not the most efficient use of my ammo. But uh, these Black Art Corsairs coming in for a second charge here are going to get carved up pretty hard by the Chaos Warriors with great weapons. But we're just trying to protect the Dark Shards for as long as possible here. They've been able to do some nice damage to the Shagoth, but it's not been enough. They are going to get inundated here by this other Shagoth and these Chaos Warriors. We've still got this other unit of Dark Shards online in the back here. And this other unit of Cold One Knights is now charged in on the flank. We've got Murderous Prowess now going off, so it's going to give my guys a nice little timing burst here. We've got, uh, you know, charge bonus, melee attack. The Cold One Knights now have uh, helped crush these Forsaken here, and we're going to be able to wrap up the rest of this flank. These Chaos Warriors with great weapons and these Chaos Warriors here are also enraged, so my opponent can't really micro them. Big Bird's slightly isolated here, so we're going to come in with a quick for a quick charge with Malekith and try and deal some nice damage to him. Malekith will absolutely destroy him in one-on-one -on -one combat, so Big Bird wisely pulling away there, my opponent uh, pulling these Shagoths. This, this move was also designed to pull these Shagoths away. I needed to spring these uh, Dark Shards free, and uh, you know, this Shagoth as well is pulling away from this fight, allowing me to rally these units here. These uh, Cold One Knights are enraged, which means they're just going to come straight in on the charge. I'm also going to bring these Witch Elves to try and tie down this entire flank here, but... Uh, Meanwhile, my opponent finally activating the Hounds now Now that my uh, Cold One Knights are mostly, you know, for the most part engaged. And uh, the Hounds probably could have tried to come over a little bit earlier, but I had some reserve troops and, uh, you know, they would have been able to be responded to. As it is, they're going to be able to come in on this fight, do some nice poison damage, and uh, get on these Dark Shards as well. They're going to do some really good damage here. Dark Shards are not complete pushovers in melee. They do have decent stats at 20 attack and 22 defense. But uh, not going to be great. Meanwhile, Malekith jumping down, trying to p terrorize these Poison Hounds just straight off the field, as well as these Chaos Warriors here. A lot of these troops are being locked up by the, the Witch Elves, uh, which is really, really nice for me. Big Bird's going to try and pull away from this fight. He was taking quite a bit of damage from the Black Guard, which are saturated in here. And get in on these Dark Shards as well. We've got a regrouped Black Art Corsair trying to support here. We're also going to pull away the Witch Elves and the Black Guard into this backline fight here. And it's a bit of a dangerous situation for Big Bird right now because he's pretty isolated from the two Shagoths. The one Shagoth is over here inundated by the healthier unit of Cold One Knights. We brought it all the way around the formation and are fighting this Shagoth here along with the inspiring champions, which, oh man, forgot how awesome these guys look. But yeah, at this point, uh, Big Bird's been locked down by these Witch Elves. We've got the Black Guard coming in, and Malekith is also coming in for the kill here. We should be able to finish off Big Bird, and that'll deal a decisive blow to the morale of the Chaos Warriors. You can see my opponent trying to come in with the Shagoth here. He's going to be able to get a couple of attack animations on on a Malekith, but I'm just trying to stay the course here desperately. I really, really need to take down Big Bird. That's pretty much my only hope of pulling this battle out. This Shagoth here is getting very, very low. We were able to regroup this unit of Dark Shards with Shields, which had previously been routed off. They're going to be able to do a little bit of damage here, but uh, Big Bird going down to Malekith, 
And that's going to be it. These Blackguard and Malekith and the Witch Elves working in tandem here. Now going to turn their attention over to this Dragon Ogre Shagoth. And although he does have, and you know, armor-piercing anti-large, not going to be uh, great in this situation. Just kind of outclassed here. And the morale of the Chaos Warriors is failing with the death of Big Bird. But uh, yeah, it's sad, sad day for Big Bird. One of my favorite lords from Game 1. And uh, you'll definitely be seeing him coming up in some battle replays. He's really good against some of the New, uh, new World factions, so... In this battle, though, Big Bird was not quite enough, being downed by Malekith. Very fun stuff. Well played to Sir X, who is a very good player, by the way. We had played a game just prior to this where he's, he beat me pretty handily as the High Elves versus Bretonia, but I'm not really wanting to show that one off. I mean, I might. I don't have a lot of replays to show, but the map that it's on is pretty lopsided. I wasn't a huge fan of that map, to be honest. I might make a video highlighting that map and see if we can get Creative Assembly to take it out of the multiplayer rotation because it's really one-sided. But, uh, you know, he played lights out as well, and definitely I made some mistakes there. He capitalized on it. But in this battle, I was able to take one back, and it was very, very close. But finishing Big Bird off there with Malekith was, was the decisive blow of the battle for sure. Blackguard of Nagaron get only getting 27 kills, but 2 XP chevrons as they did a ton of damage to Big Bird and one of those Shagoths that was saturated in there. Um, Cold One Knight's getting some really nice uh, damage done on the Forsaken, as well as, uh, you know, helping to deal with Dragon Ogre Shagoths. We didn't kill either of them, but we were able to hold them up and tie them down and just do damage enough to the point where, you know, I, when it came time to army losses, you know, in that critical morale phase, they just could, didn't have enough to hang around. So uh, the Chaos Warriors, in many respects, uh, kind of getting munched on a little bit. They really outclassed the Black Art Corsairs in many cases. One Black Art Corsair, 57 kills, and the Chevron's pretty decent. Witch Elves didn't get a whole lot of kills, but again, their, their goal here is more just to tie down things, not really to get kills. Um, Dark Shards didn't get a whole lot of kills either, but just, just applying pressure to the Dragon Ogre Shagoths and, uh, you know, helping to pull, you know, pull my opponent in different, different directions and so on. Um, these Forsaken didn't do as much work as I thought. This one Chaos Warrior here, 136 kills, but the Forsaken, you know, decent. Uh, the Chaos Warriors, just not what he needed here. Um, they did well, but not, not as well as I expected, to be honest. This one, though, I mean, that's re the real deal. But uh, the Chaos Warhounds used in the late game there to help ward off the uh, Dark Shards. But uh, a little bit too little too late, I think. I don't know. It's tough to say. If, if he had brought those uh, those guys around a little bit earlier, it might have been better. But I did have some reserve units on station that could have helped fend them off. So, I mean, I understand him holding them in reserve until that late game phase. But it's interesting. A lot of back and forth. But very well played to Sir X. Thank you, sir, for those games. It was a lot of fun. Hope you guys enjoyed watching that. If you like this kind of content, like and subscribe. I'm keeping it coming with more Mortal Empires content every single day, so stay tuned for more, and we'll see you next time.